Hello everyone, good evening. Let's see who hops on, give it a few minutes. We're gonna make this adorable card tonight with the Garden Greenhouse Bundle. Good evening everyone, hello. We'll go through just a few things going on. I have a new class, hi Patricia. <clears throat> we got a little giveaway, it'll be this card. That's good. Hi, Pat. Hi, Lynn. Good evening, everyone. Hi, Paula. Hi, Mary. Hello. Hi, Sandra. Thank you for joining. Thanks, everyone, for taking some time out of your evening as on Sundays with me. Hi, Carol. Hi, Connie. Hi, Anita. Good evening, Patty. This is what a pretty card, right? Hi, Helen. Hi, Brenda. Nice to see you. Hi, Susan. Hi, Donna. Thanks for joining, everyone. Hello, Diana. <clears throat> Hi, Lily. I hope you're doing well, Lily. I was thinking about you today. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Judith. Oh, thanks for the thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, good. Hi, Cheryl. Good evening. Hi, Hope. Hi, Carrie. Hey, Carrie, did I see you send me a message that you wanted to participate in the uh, card swap? I thought I saw that. Hi, Anita. Hi, Gloria. It is a cheerful card. I will, <clears throat> And with the very vanilla, yes. Thank you for sharing, Diana. Look how pretty. And I said I was going to use a lot of DSP. This is a fun set. Uh, the green is Pear Pizzazz. You sure did. Okay, Carrie, I'll put your name on the list. I couldn't find it. I saw. I thought I saw it come through the computer, and um, I was like, I, I didn't, didn't think I was seeing things, but then I was like, well, let me check. So, okay, I'll put your name on the list. If you're on my team, we're doing a card swap. I do one with every catalog, with every new catalog. And the, um, everything's posted on my Happy Crafting Corner, and I also sent out an email. Good evening, Mary. No, we do not have snow. It is now pouring the rain. Yes, we have. Uh, it is absolutely, right now as we speak, it is absolutely pouring outside. So it warmed up. <laughs> Hi, Marilyn. Okay. I know, right? <laughs> so, Okay. So um, until the 11th, of January. If you spend $50 in product with me, I will send you a pack of the Fossey glass. From the 12th to the 18th, it is the brushed butter, uh, brass butterflies. And from the 19th to the 24th, it's the pebbles. I love these because I use these um, on the card. Hi, Teresa. On, on the card class that I just did. I'll show that to you. And then from the 25th to the 31st, adhesive back hexagons. Again, um, I'm do we're doing okay with the ordering. So far, so good. So, But if something happens, um, uh, I will replace the product with something of equal value, I promise, okay? All right, and then if you order $100 in product, you, of course, get free card kits. Here's the free card kits for this month. You get these with any size order whenever you order from me. Hi, Laura. Aren't they cute? I had to use the ladybug. Um, so you get these this month, and they come with envelopes. And then uh, with $50, you get the Fossey glass. And then with $100, you get a video and PDF on how to make all the little cards. There's six of them in this paper pumpkin box. I'll show you these six little cards. They're made with the note cards and envelopes. But this no product is sent. You get the video and PDF to put everything together, isn't that pretty? So pretty. And I love this striped embossing folder there, nice. And of course, if you're on my team, <gasps> Bear came running when he heard my voice, he, I love him. Uh, hi, Pauline, uh, Pauline, I wanna thank you for your card, it came in the mail this week. Thank you so much. So this is with a $100 order and then the goodies and the free card kit. So 
that is wonderful. And then of course you get the wonderful celebration items, 50 or $100 order, then you get to pick from the celebration catalog. Um, I hope that all of my customers have received, hi Jane, their catalogs. So I've been kind of checking with people. But let me show you guys the, um, this card Faleen sent me. I thought that was so sweet. And it just came this week. Isn't that pretty? Yes, thank you. Yes, Faleen, thank you so much. It's so pretty. I love this. This is like some of my favorite ribbon. I love that. Thank you very, very much. So that was some happy mail. Let's go ahead and choose a winner for tonight. It's this card right here. So we'll stir up the names and see who wins it. Hi, Karen. Thank you for joining. I know, right? Her card was so cute. Let's see who's in here. Oh, Lynn. Huh. All right, I'll send you this card. I'll send it with all your goodies for the month. Okay, wonderful. Now, uh, I talked about I have been... Um, uh, getting another card class together and I have it together. It will go up tomorrow. Okay. I want to, I've got to show this to you. I did the new horizons. You're going to love this. Look at this card. Look how pretty those little, hi Renee, these little houses, these little cabins, they're so cute. So here's the first card. So, um, uh, I think it's I I think it's I did uh, forty dollars. You get two enough material to put together two of each card. I don't have the video out yet or the um, email, so let me just show you the cards, and I won't we won't talk about any particulars. But if you would like to sign up on my card for um, to get notified when I do a class, click the show more button and sign up on my email list. Look at how cute I love these pebbles. Oh, you're gonna, Pauline, you're gonna love this. Look at how cute. Isn't that cute? I love the way when you put the pebbles, it gives you such a 3D effect. First of all, when you put the fence, it gives a 3D effect. But then when you add the pebbles, that's totally different. And these right here were like, to me, the little um, stepping stones to get into the cabins. So that, that was like it to me. So there's card number two. And of course, you get video and PDF. And here's card number three. Isn't this pretty? Look at these pebbles down here. It really makes it. Really makes the scene, right? There's the inside. And now, I was watching videos. And I think it was Lisa Freeman. I think that's who the demonstrator was. She showed a um, bay window card. And this is what I did. It's a bay window it's a bay window card. And this, isn't that adorable? And it slips right in there. I love that. I love this. And then it just folds flat. Okay. But that's how it stands up. I love this bay window card. So that will be in this card class. And again, um, I won't give you any particulars. There'll be an email go out tomorrow. I've been working on it. And we'll um, go from there with that. And uh, we'll talk more about it on, I know, right, Lily, the bay window card is awesome. Yes, absolutely awesome. Thank you, Carrie. Um, okay, so back to this card. So I had to play with this set because this greenhouse, now these are the dies that I haven't used, but I'll use them this week, okay? Um, thank you, Connie. I will absolutely use them this week. Now, I wanna show you in here, Look at, see these little flowers right here? Each one of them has a die. There's one, two, three, four over here, okay? So each of them has a die to pop them up with. I think that's so wonderful. This has a die. This has a die. I mean, it's like there's dies for everything and extra flowers and extra greenery. So I really, really, really had fun with these. Um, I love the way that this is a stamp and it's like the face front kind of thing. But then when you use the dies, it's like the little greenhouse is sideways. So isn't that fun? So we're going to use, we're going to do all of this. Okay, let's move this aside. And with it, I also paired the special moments stamp set. This is free with a hundred dollar order. It's in the celebration catalog. I've really been enjoying using 
the stamp sets and using all of these things on the outside and then pairing them with something from here for the inside. So I really kind of, I've really been having fun with that. Okay, let, let me move some things aside here. And I'm gonna try to, <laughs> like I say, let's laugh about it. I'll try to stay organized. Hi, Cheryl, but you know how it goes. We're just gonna have fun and There you go, okay. Oh, thank you, Connie, I appreciate it. So I love the very vanilla with this because of the paper that I used. Again, this paper is from the Celebration Catalog. It is the Daffodil Afternoon Paper. I've been having a ball with this paper. Look at these little green hearts. Aren't they cute? So it's on the back of um, this side, which I love this side too, but that was just pretty. So um, this, again, is free with a $50 purchase. Uh, that comes from Stampin' Up. Fun is what is all about. Yes, you know it. Um, so, I, I just enjoyed using the very vanilla. Let's go ahead and stamp our envelope. Oh, thank you, Vicki. I appreciate it. Hi, Sharon. Let's go ahead and get our envelope stamped. Um, yes, I, and it, not hard to, um, I know, Falling, that, that DSP is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm kind of hoarding it. I have an idea for after celebration, but yeah. So I have an idea with it, so, but I really like, I really love the paper. Okay, so let's stamp the inside of the card first. And we're gonna use a lot of ink tonight. Flirty Flamingo, Poppy Parade, Pear Pizzazz, Coastal Cabana, Evening Evergreen, and Crushed Curry. Now, let's pray that I don't get the card in all, I mean, I have like, what, four, six ink pads out here. That's amazing, right? Well, I'm just setting myself up for disaster. From Maryland, Sherrod, are you having rain also? Let's go ahead and stamp with um, some pear pizzazz. And this is a distinctive stamp. This is so pretty. I love this. This little twig right here of uh, greenery is just so beautiful, but it's distinctive. So you get like depth with it. And then I'm gonna stamp, uh, the thing I like about you is everything. I, lo I love that saying, that comes from the um, special moments. So I'm gonna do that in Coastal Cabana, right up here. And this piece, hi Glenda. This piece is um, from the Scallop Contour. And then I have a piece for the inside of the card right here and of this DSP, and it's five and a quarter by four. And then this scallop contour. And this just, we're just gonna put that together just like that. Good evening. Oh, watch me run out of Tombow, right? <laughs> it could happen. I've been doing a lot in here. So I'm gonna put this right here in the center. We're gonna get rid of um, some, or not gonna get rid of, but we're gonna, <laughs> we're going to um, do some of the easy things and get them out of the way so that then we can work on building all of the outside of this card. We're gonna put this on the inside. And I've been into this year, it is use your DSP. So I used more DSP on the, it, on the card itself, so I stamped the envelope. Of course, you could always take the DSP and put it on the back of the envelope flap if you'd like. That came out so cute, right? Okay, now on the front, we could go ahead and get the other piece, and this is five and a quarter by four. Let's glue this down with some Tombow. We had eight inches. Pauline says she had eight inches of slushy ice snow on Thursday night. I work graveyard, so I went to sleep at 8, 8 a.m. I woke up at 2.30. It was 90% gone. I know, right? Yes, everything has washed away here. So we should be okay for about a week around here, I think. 
You never know. You never know in the mountains. You absolutely never know. Okay, I have a piece, a scrap piece of very vanilla here. And I want to um, stamp this in Coastal Cabana. Let me clean it. Have my little chamois over there. So I'm gonna stamp two of these in Coastal Cabana. And then I'm going to die cut them out. And then along with this in Poppy Parade, I need this little flower right here, and you'll see why. This flower holds a purpose. Hi, Maureen. So pretty, okay. So I'm going to put this aside. Actually, let's just bring the mini in, and we'll start to cut some things out first, okay? I do that and also make liners for the envelopes. Yes, absolutely, Carrie. I totally agree. Great way to use the DSP. Yes, I was finding I was like, I've got way too much DSP left over. As a whole, everybody, we all need to use it up. Well, that's what we buy it for. Although, I have to admit, I have a stack of DSP that I've never used before. I just keep it. It's just my favorite stack. I don't know. <laughs> so we'll put that there and then this goes on the little flower and like I said this flower seriously it has a purpose there is a reason for it but it's so pretty and I love the poppy parade on the um let me get it around here so that it's right on the very vanilla just turn it until you get it to where the little hi Maureen there we go Okay, we'll cut these out. Oh, you're fine, Marsha. You are fine. Oh, I've got this on the wrong side. You know what I did today? I took bleach on a little rag and I cleaned both of my machines. I mean, they were like, they had like paper and it looked, they looked black almost. So I took the, like a bleach spray and I cleaned them today in here. So things might not be right where I keep them. Okay, I'm going to keep this little flower. And I'll put that in my little dish. And we'll cut this other one out. Ooh. Oh, I was like, what happened there? Oh, here it is. <laughs> and we'll put this right here. We must be coming up on a full moon. My pets have been a little crazy today. The whole 17 by 17 room. I agree, Carol. I totally agree. That is like like a New Year's resolution um, is to use DSP more. Yeah, but my my little kitties, they were just running and playing and happy. And yeah, I was like, oh, it must be the moon. Something must be changing. <laughs> Usually they just lay around and do nothing. Oh, the 17th is the full moon? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. They were just happy kitties. I need, I need this one in red, and then I need this one in um, crushed curry. It's this one right here. Okay, so, and you know, here's the thing with this. You can make them any, any ones that you like. You just make. You are good to go with anything. This just happens to be my... Um, must be a husband's problem too. Full moon. Ah, ah. Ah, ah, Carol. I love it. That's too funny. So I'm just lining up all my pieces over here and chit chatting with everybody. Hi, Marsha. That's too funny. And now I'm going to do this in Coastal Cabana. This one right here. Hi, Kelly. So when I made the greenhouse, I used, look at how pretty that is, right? And this is all going just to be like um, decoration, all decoration. Okay, let's see, we've got that going. I've got that. All right, let's move this aside now. We'll do it in phases. 
And now, well, let's talk about these houses here. And let's, I should have just cut this. Let's cut this out. This is a great thing. I'll have to watch the replay. I don't even know what set you're, oh, uh, I am working with garden greenhouses. Garden greenhouses, this is on page 28 of the mini catalog. Hi, Jewel. Let's cut this out with, um, with that vellum. That's what I love about having the mini here. I could just bring it in and out, but sometimes you can't use it, you know. Hello. So I'm cutting this out of vellum, the, out, the full size house. Oh, I did. Okay, great. So, so the full size house needs to be of the vellum. And then we're gonna talk about that pear pizzazz piece that I have right there. Look at how cute this makes, just a little house. Isn't that cute? And I always lose them, they always like get invisible because vellum is like invisible stuff, right? Okay, now let's talk about this. This is a piece of pear pizzazz. And this is a piece of, oh, I saw that, but couldn't imagine what to do with it. Well, here we go this week, because I have some ideas of what to put in the greenhouse. So I'm going to put this as adhesive sheet, and I, um, oh no, Gloria, you can't find your mini catalog. You, you can always look online. So this is adhesive sheet, and it's on back order, but when it comes in, I, I just love to have this on hand, okay? So here's my piece, and this is the bad side of it. See, it's kind of, it's not as smooth as that side. I guess it's been run through the machine. Well, it has because I have some sticky strip right there. So I pull this off, and see this side's not sticky. And um, so I throw that away. Oh, I'm sorry, Jewel, that you don't have any sound. Yes, oh, I know, Gloria. So this side is very sticky, and this is not. You take the sticky side and you put it on the side of the paper that is the, like this side is a little, not as smooth as the other side, okay? And now we're going to put this here. I highly suggest either using a sponge or a sponge dauber with the glue, you know, to put on the back of this, instead of trying to run the liquid glue all over the back of this after it comes out, you'll see why. Because it is very thin. It's like really, really thin. And I'm gonna run it through here a couple of times because we're going through the adhesive sheet. Oh, thank you, Brenda. We're going through the adhesive sheet and we definitely want to have enough pressure on it, okay? So I am going to run it back and forth a few times. And it might crack and pop, but that's normal. I just want to make sure. Oh, you're good, Lynn. And back again, and I think we'll be good. Now, let me throw this away, okay. And take this out of the way again. And now we're gonna pop this out of here. All of these are gonna pop right out, okay? All these little squares of the greenhouse, they're just gonna fall right out. The problem, let me show you. See all these teeny, teeny, tinies in here? There's like really teeny, tinies, okay? But a lot of times when you do adhesive sheet, when you go ahead to peel it, those teeny, tinies come with it. So let's hope that that happens, okay? So let's get the big, the big ones out of here. And they just fall right out. And then a lot of this does too. I wanted to do this on camera because I wanted you guys to see. I've gone out and back in four times and still have no sound. Uh-oh, is your microphone turned up? Well, what am I talking? She can't hear, right? <laughs> That's, she's telling me she has no sound and I'm like, is your mic turned up? <laughs> Maybe somebody could type that and see if her, um, 
her volume is turned up. Let's see, what did Carol put? My cutting plate is well used also, but used good. Yes. Hi, Marie. Yes, my cut, and those are brand new plates. Those are brand new cutting plates. Is it muted? I know, right? It could be muted, and you know, you just kind of forget or hit a button. Okay, so now I'm taking the adhesive sheet off. Now let's hope. Do you see how a lot of the littles are peeling right out? Look at this up here so that you don't really have to poke them out, okay? Many, many of, and then you could even stick it back on there and bring it with you onto the adhesive sheet. It's very, very simple, just like that. That's awesome. So see all the littles came out except for like four or five of them, which is fantastic, really. They're cut out, it's just the adhesive holds them, that's all. So I'm going to get these out of here. I'm trying to get them off my fingers at the same time because they're sticking. Okay, right here, okay, right there. All right, now, let me move that aside. Where'd we go? Here is our this is our little house. Let me put my little house here on the pad. There we go, now we could see better. Okay, now here is the greenhouse with the adhesive strip on the back, and this is so wonderful. I just, uh, if your volume is turned up, realizing as she did that you can hear, ha, ah, ah, I know, right? And completely rebooting. Okay, I get that, yeah. I know, right? I'm like, oh, is your volume up? And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. She can't hear me. So there is, our, look at how cute that is. The green, It just sticks right there. Oh, I forgot, I, I missed one. You could just pick it right out. No big deal. Isn't that cute? That's really cute. So like today I was wondering, and I was looking through the computer... Um, I, you know, on, um, Pinterest and everything have not figured it out yet. Oh, Robbins keeps doing the same thing. I don't know. Um, so a lot of things go in greenhouses. I thought that that would, you know, you don't just have to have green plants. Okay. So let's, we made the little house. Let's move that aside. Put that up here with my other dies. Let's go. I'm going to bring my envelope in. I want to stamp my envelope. pear pizzazz with my little greenery here and then that's done also okay and then we have that okay now this is a piece of um oh may it could be a, uh, somebody having a storm we had a bad storm before but now it's just raining so this very vanilla is three and a half by three and a half i'll post the the, all the measurements below the video on YouTube, but they are below the picture already on Facebook. And now what we want to do with this piece is use the Stamparatus. I'm going to bring this in. And everything's stuck together. There we go. Okay. I want to bring this over here. Right there. And I'm just going to put that right up there. And then I want to take this part and where my little stems are right here, I want it toward the bottom. And three and a half by three and a half holds that really well, okay? Just like that. I'm going to close that. And now, you know, while I'm at it, I really could do, um, hope your days are just right. Let me pick that up too. We'll use two different inks. Okay. I'm not right over top of it, so I think I'm pretty good there. Okay, I'll close it again and pick that up. Okay, now I know everything's in this corner, so it's in this corner, so I'm good. And this is lined up right here on my little sticky pad. We are good. Down here, we're going to use Evening Evergreen. So let's go ahead and ink this up in Evening Evergreen. 
And now up here, we're gonna use a little flirty flamingo on our saying, okay? And now let's just close the door and see what we get. Love the Stamparatus, can do two at once, right? That's wonderful. I love this, I'm good to go with that. I want this to be a little darker. So I'm just gonna ink this up. I'm gonna remove this one. I'm just gonna ink this up, a little bit more evening evergreen, and close the door again. Oh, technology, go figure. Oh, look how pretty. Okay, now, see right here? This right here is actually cut out for this stamp right here. Isn't that adorable? Let's go ahead and I'm gonna peel this up. That came out so pretty. And let me get this stamp out of the way now from the Stamparatus. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna work with this piece and we already have our hope your day is just right. Isn't that nice? What a nice saying. I love a lot of the sayings that we have uh, on these stamp sets here um, recently. Okay, let me get myself reorganized over here. This little flower right here, I wanna do in um, Flirty Flamingo. So I'm gonna just ink that up in Flirty Flamingo and I'm gonna kinda of come right over top of it and the stamp. Now, the other thing here, if you didn't want to stamp, but this is going behind the, um, you know, the, the little greenhouse now is going to go behind this, like everything is in it, okay? But if you wanted to, you have the cutouts, and I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this, so, um, but then I liked it stamped underneath, but you could always put that on there, glue it down, or pop it up with a dimensional, you know, on, on another card or another technique that you're using. But tonight we're just going to stamp. But I did want to show that to you. And all of these little flowers, you can do that with. I love this in Poppy Parade. So cute. See all these little straight shoots right here? One, two, three, four. We're going to put flowers on every one of them. Right there. And another little Poppy Parade out here. This is my favorite flower. Can you tell? Cute. Cute. Now I'm gonna use this one in Coastal Cabana. I'm gonna put that up here, right here. Cute. And then this little one right here, I'm gonna do in Crushed Curry. Right here. Isn't this pretty? Isn't this pretty, okay? But I mean, again, it's a builder set. I, and I, you know what? I have found, I have seriously, guys, I have found that I love a builder set. I didn't think, you know, I had always thought that, oh my goodness, what am I going to do with these things that you got to put together? But here recently, I don't know if it's because I cased the catalog or what, but here recently, I was like, wow, the more that I can build things and like take a blank piece of paper and make something pretty, isn't that just pretty the way it is, right? Um, I just love it. Those little, the little flowers, I cannot believe these little flowers, okay? I, they're, they're amazing. Now I'm gonna take my greenhouse and I want my greenhouse to come right over top of this. Like, you know how a greenhouse has that kind of um, frosty kind of window look? And that's what the vellum gives you. Isn't that pretty? I love this. Okay, now, how are we going to attach this? That's the thing. That's why we did all of this, okay? Because we're gonna, it's going to help hold our glue dots. Now, we have a little sticky up here, okay, that didn't get covered with the vellum. So that's going to help hold that on right here where I want it. And I'm just going to kind of tack that down. Isn't that wonderful? And now I'm going to sneak glue dots around here. I'm just going to sneak them to the side here because I already know that I'm going to put my leaves and one over here. Okay, you never see it. And that's all that that needs. Hi, Jill. Now, I'm going to take these little guys right here 
I'm gonna put one here and one over here. And this can come off of the, um, hi Carol. This can come off of this little three and a half by three and a half sheet because we're gonna mount this onto the front of the card. So don't think that you have to like stay within the three and a half by three and a half. You can come over here. So I'm just gonna put a couple of glue dots on these guys. I found that the glue dots were easier to work with with this. And I'm just gonna like add this here. I'm gonna let that come off. I wanna see my little red flower. I'm gonna put one here. And one's enough. And I'm gonna put this right here. Okay. Now let's see, let's put this one. Now this one, I'm not gonna use a glue dot because it's so thin, I am going to use some liquid glue. You know, and this is where like a sponge dab or a sponge with some liquid glue, you can always put that on the back there. I'm clogged up. Okay. Let's see. And I'm just gonna kind of come through here and add a little liquid glue. And I'm going to place this right behind here. And basically wherever it falls, I'm happy. Just like that. No big deal about it. Let's leave it. And now remember, this flower has a purpose, okay? I'm gonna take my little red, uh, I don't know what you wanna call this, um, berries or whatever, and I just want a hint of this, this one sticking out from over here, kind of to complement my little um, poppy parade in there. And that's all I'm gonna do right there. And then this one comes behind or in front, where just wherever that you could place it is fine. But we just want to use the same colors. Oh, thank you, Maureen. We just want to use the same colors that we've been using inside the card. I guess I shouldn't have stuck that down. Will that come up? Oh, are we committed? Oh, we're committed. Okay, so we'll put this out here. No big deal. I can't get that. Okay, there. Pop out from under there. Okay. I'm just going to put this one here. No rhyme or reason to any of it. Isn't that adorable, though? That's so cute. Okay. Now, I told you there was a little, there's, there's a purpose for this little flower. And it's to hold this corner down right here. It seems to be doing quite a good job right now. But um, on my other card, it popped up. I want to use a mini dimensional right here. And, you know, you never know when something like that goes in and out of an envelope, you just might get it caught. So I'm going to place this like a flower has fallen and it's just holding that little bit of that greenhouse down. Isn't that cute? That's adorable. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, let's go ahead. Let me close up all of this ink. It's so scary, I'm telling you. It just... <laughs> So you'll want to sign up on my email list if you would like to have any information about that New Horizons sweet, uh, or, um, card class that I'm doing. Of course, if you're on my team, you will get the video and PDF for that for free. And my Sweet Talk class is um, on its way. And some got mailed out today. And I'm waiting for a lot of the bundles that everybody ordered. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, my goodness. And the hearts behind it are perfect. Okay, so uh, that's going on. Or actually, they'll go out tomorrow. Um, so if you didn't order the bundle with the Sweet Talk class, that came. But I'm waiting on your bundles to come. So I'm going to put five here. And I think it said that they would be here by Friday. So we're not, not having, oh, thank you, Vicki. Not having a hard time with shipping right now. Knock wood, hurry. Knock wood, okay? So, yeah, because not having a hard time with shipping as of right now. Look at this, how cute. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Denise. Thank you for tuning in. I think this is your first time watching. Thank you. Okay, now, where did I put those? Butterflies. I need my butterflies. Here they are. They were in my pile. 
Oh, thank you, Gloria. Look how cute, right? That This DSP, this free DSP is amazing. I just want to show that it goes with so much. Now, these are these flat butter. You got to see these guys. This is the gift for, look at how flat they are. This is the gift from the 12th to the 18th with a $50 order. A pack of these butterflies, hopefully, you know. That's why I, I just keep saying, you know, if it's if we have a hard time with, um, you know, getting product, then we have to change. But I, I think for right now, we're good. And I put three of those on. Of course, we're going to have some butterflies around a greenhouse, right? Look at our pretty cards for tonight. Oh, my goodness. Now, I will be on Tuesday on YouTube at 10 a.m., and we will do another beautiful card. This week is all about the greenhouses and the garden greenhouse bundle. Oh, thank you, guys. Thanks for the hearts. I appreciate it. Didn't this come out cute? Not difficult at all to make. Just one step at a time, guys. Even if you are new to stamping, don't worry and don't get shied away from getting a set like this that has little parts and pieces. The more you stamp, the more you cut the better that you'll get at it. And it's just so much fun. And look at these little flowers behind here that are in the greenhouse. They came out so cute, right? So, okay, there we go for tonight. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Please always do some happy crafting and I appreciate you watching me. Um, like I said, Tuesday, 10 a.m. on YouTube, Wednesday, 10 a.m. on Facebook, and we'll be using the Garden Greenhouse Bundle this week. Thanks again for watching. Always. Oh, thank you, Mary. <laughs> and Lynn's list gets bigger and bigger. How funny. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, I hope you enjoy this card. How cute. And if you have this bundle, please case. Always case. I love that. Case is copy and share everything. Put a tiny rhinestone in the flower on the bottom flower. A tiny a rhinestone here. Okay, let's do that. Robin says a rhinestone. Look at how I'm down to this many rhinestones. They're coming. How funny. Okay. We're putting a rhinestone. Robin says a rhinestone. Right here in the... Oh, of course. Yes, it's wonderful. <gasps> should I use a champagne one? Do you think I should use a champagne one instead? Because of the gold? Thank you, Mary. What do you think, Robin? Should I use a champagne rhinestone or a regular rhinestone? I'll do what you... I'll do what you type. Hi, Jill. Oh, the Bling Bling Crafter is happy now. You know it, Pat. I know. What do you think? A regular rhinestone or a champagne rhinestone? Let's put a champagne one in this one over here. Let's see what it looks like. Only, I'm only saying the champagne. I thought so, yeah. Because of the gold butterflies, right? Let's pick this up. Okay, let's see. We like the champagne. Let's do that. Oh, yes. Oh, definitely. Yes, guys. Look at this. Here we go. Another gorge. Look, that just made it. That absolutely made it. I love it. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Where can we get info on your classes? Um, Jewel, I put um, on my YouTube channel, there is a little drop-down box. It says show more. And you drop that down, and there's my email list and any classes that I have going on there. And um, on this Facebook, where I took the picture of this this morning, um, it's over there too. And the best thing to do is to sign up on my email list. This way, when I have anything going on, I always send out, send out a batch email and um, so uh, that everybody knows but, um, of what is going on. Oh, thank you. Hey, Robin, you helped me. Look at that. Good night, Pat. Thank you. I love that champagne rhinestone on there. Looks so pretty. Absolutely. Yeah, so um, yeah, please sign up on my email list and uh, um, you'll get all the info, all the scoop, all the latest news. I do not have a blog. I only do constant contact email and um, I, I do YouTube and I do Facebook and um who won? Uh, Lynn. Lynn won the card tonight. She won this card. And uh, so I don't, I don't blog um, at all. So, uh, but I always put my measurements underneath my videos. 
And again, on Facebook, it's already posted from this morning on there. And there is a list also if you wanted to order this from me. You can, um, there is also a supply list there. And uh, it will be posted on YouTube just as soon as I get off of here and get everything converted over. It takes me about 10, 15 minutes and it'll get posted there. And that's what I do. I use my um, Stampin' Up! website for my uh, website. Here is my host code for this month for January. I forgot to show that at the beginning. If you guys are going to order, there's my host code. Please use it. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you don't, I can call and they can add it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, I do the basic of basic. There's no info on Facebook that I can find. You have to find the picture of this card. And then um, underneath in the description, it, it's there because I posted it this morning. Um, but I will get this up on YouTube just in just a few minutes. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. And um, oh, thank you, Sharon. I appreciate it. Oh, yes, and don't forget, Paper Pumpkin will be late this month. Yes, I think everybody got their emails on that. I got a couple of them. So that was, they. I guess they wanted to make sure that I knew. So, <laughs> so that's okay. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day. I will see you Tuesday on YouTube at 10 a.m. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful evening.